There we go. Wow, look at those jumping skills. Susan, Susan, is this teacup? Or is this a different cat? Ugh. There's a hole. Can I go inside of it? Jump in. Oh, okay. That looked a lot smaller from the outside than it does from the inside. Hey there. Gorgeous. I see my old lady brought the bleach. Again. What a shame. I really liked your eyes. <laughs> it could have been a start of something uh, very exciting for us, if you know what I mean. <laughs> she does that every single time. What do they call it? Trust issues, <laughs> that's it. Well, never mind. Plenty more fish in the sea. I I'm not too fussy, but even I have some standards. Ain't gonna touch a bird like you, I gotta be honest, girl. You look like shit. But I wouldn't want you to think I'm not a kind man. Uh, uh, plenty of time until dinner, and you you're in pain, so... I've brought something to end your suffering. Think of it as an option. I've got this gun here. It's one of my favourites. There's just one bullet in the chamber. Large calibre. Yet you'd be long dead before you'd feel any pain. Sounds good, doesn't it? I mean, it's, ju it's just an idea, you know, no pressure. Ah, uh, of course, you can't see it. That bleach turns your eyes to nothing but jelly. So I'll just leave it for you here. Feel free to use it. That, that bullet's meant for you anyway. I'd better go now. We won't want to get caught red-handed again, would we? You naughty minx. What was that? You can't reach it. Well, what did you expect? Life's a real fucker sometimes. This is really fucked up. I, I guess I need to kill myself so that I can come back to life? I'm assuming when I come back, I come back with all of my everything restored, otherwise I'd be playing the rest of the game with no eyes, which is probably not possible. Ooh, there's a key. So, oh, okay, I'm gonna swallow the key. I mean, I guess I can't pick it up. Are you stroking your shaft? Playing with your gun? Be a shame if that ended up at your face and you accidentally pressed the trigger. That's a long gun. Oh. 
Alright, what do I do? What can I do? I can spit out the key. Uh... Okay, where? It's the noise it makes when you try to spit it out. Is there like a time when he's not looking? Let me look at what he's doing. There's a time when he's not looking. There we go. Okay. Whoops. Oh no, 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 no. Get, get back in. What the? I guess I have to go back up to go over all right look down again no there we go okay the problem is you go to the right and then you have to go to the left which is weird teacup to the rescue or some other cat Okay. What? Who's this? My eyes. I can't. I can't see a thing. That bitch. A key. Who are you? Say something. Anything. I... I should be able to unlock the handcuffs now. Oh, do I actually have to... Oh, I have to play with no sight! I can hear myself walking. Um... Gun? The gun! That idiot left his gun! No! No, no, no! I dropped it! Where is it? Where the hell is it? Oh, son of a bitch. I've got it. Okay. Am I gonna shoot him blind? I guess I should probably save it again. <laughs> Alright, I just moved all the way to the right. But I don't hear my footsteps anymore, so I guess I can. Oh, God. I can shoot myself, which is probably what I have to do. So I can see again. Let's go to the left. I have to- I have to shoot myself so I can come back. Oh my god, that is grim. Okay. Here we go. I'm sorry, Mitzi. I have to break my promise. Yeah, I'm I'm well aware I'm dead. I just shot myself after all. Hope you don't mind creepy posters. It's your room. You can do what you like with it, but 
I definitely prefer this to fairies, rainbows and pink unicorns. Did you make these? No. My boyfriend made them. Some of them, anyway. So, Miss Ashworth, I happen to have a bottle of wine in my bag. I was going to leave it to Robert, but I forgot all about it. Robert? The guy with the rats. Oh, yes. Of course. So, shall we have a drink, then? We could get to know each other a bit more. I know, I promise I won't get in the way. And, I mean... You don't have to if you don't feel like it. But since we're going to live together for a little while, it won't hurt if we talk to each other, will it? Okay, where where am I now? I mean, I guess I'm back at my flat, but why? What? Where was I before? I don't understand what's happening. Um, sure. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Great! I'll bring the wine! Oh, damn. It's one of those bottles with a cork. Have you got a bottle opener, Miss Ashworth? In the kitchen. I'll go get it, shall I? Yes, please. And while you're there, could you get a couple of glasses, too? So, yeah, what happened? I was taken by the pest control man and his wife and they kind of tried to murder me but I murdered myself first sort of and then now I'm back here what the hell happened I don't even know That bottle open. Yeah, but we'll need glasses too. See if you can find some. I know exactly where some are. In the cabinet. Strangely happy music for once. Glasses. All right, that's all we need. Oh, Miss Ashworth, I really must say this before we start. Yeah? I promise I won't cut your throat when you're asleep. Very funny, Mitzi. Oh, no, I mean it. That's fine, but just so you know, I always sleep with my eyes open. not raining anymore. It actually stopped raining. How are you planning to find this guy? I don't know yet. A bit of detective work, perhaps. It shouldn't be that hard, really. There are only eight apartments here. One is yours. That leaves us with seven. I was hoping that you could give me a hand, actually. You know some of your neighbors, don't you? Not many. I never really cared about them. They changed over the years, too. You 
probably also figured by now that this is not the sort of place where new neighbors are greeted with a freshly baked cake. You see a new face, you give them a blank stare as you pass them in the hall, and you forget about them a minute later. That bad, eh? Well, there's that bull guy who lives above me in flat five. He came here recently to shout in my face. He's a nasty piece of work, but I really don't think he's the person you're looking for. What does he do for a living? I think he's a train driver. I can't imagine somehow that my guy would be a train driver. Okay, that's good. He leaves us with just six. Anyone else you know? I'd have to think. You know, maybe not tonight. Let's just talk about something else, okay? I have plenty of time. There's no need to rush this. Maybe tomorrow we could sit down together and make a plan. I could draw a simple map of the building and with your help mark down who lives where? Sounds good to me, Mitzi. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh well, I don't mind rain. Sometimes I even like it. But according to weather forecast, there's a nasty fog coming. Now that I'm actually scared of. I got lost in a fog once, when I was just nine or ten. I remember I sat under a tree crying, thinking some monster would appear right in front of me and drag me away. But now that you're a big girl, you know there are no monsters. Yeah? How do you know? <laughs> the only monsters are us. The only monsters are us. Murderers, rapists, arsonists. They're the real beasts. So far from humanity, they're no longer capable of feeling compassion or guilt. They're the ones we should really be afraid of. But whether they're lurking in the woods or fog or the darkness of our cellars, it's all irrelevant. You can't predict what happens. You can't do anything to stop it. There is only one way. You turn into a beast yourself and like them, you show no mercy. Whoa! Where did that come from, Miss Ashworth? I just don't like murderers. They're nothing but... Parasites. Oh, starting to think like the Queen of Maggots, huh? Alright. Time for the big subject. So, the Big C. Want to talk about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. I put you in a very difficult position, I know. It's just that I was really desperate to get this room. I hope you can understand. This is the last and most important thing I must do. Before my time is up. It's fine. You seem alright. It's just... I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. Some, like yourself, even bigger than mine. What kind of cancer is it? Do you mind me asking? Brain tumor. Her name is glioblastoma. Huh. Yep, they're all girls, the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. Lymphona. Melanoma, myeloma, leukemia, sarcoma. Each of them a fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and ruthless. Hmm, you might just be right about that, Mitzi. I used to be a nurse. I know a few things about cancer. And I know glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. Yeah, and yet she gets to be the prom queen before night ends while I disappear down the back exit. How long? They said I had a year. But that was six months ago, so... Yeah. Not awfully long. Is there anything... They've tried. I'm sorry. Yeah. So am I. Do you want to talk about something else? You mentioned a boyfriend. 
Tell me something about him. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about him. His name is Jack. He's dead. Oh. Miss Ashworth, are you sure you want to listen about my miserable life? I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. And I'm not a happy stories kind of person. I'm sure you've noticed by now. I guess so. Anyway, I suppose I would have had to tell you about Jack sooner or later. After all, he is the main reason I'm here. I just... don't know where to start. Well, I guess let's start at the beginning. How did you meet? Tell me how you two met. Oh, we knew each other for like, forever. We grew up on the same street. It's funny how we seem to be made for each other. Perfect match. I always knew he was the guy for me and I'm sure he never doubted that either. Jack was absolutely crazy about me. We thought one day we would marry, have children, be happy. I never had many friends because I had Jack. I didn't need anybody else. You know, if there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life, it's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. Some people go through a lifetime without knowing how it feels. I guess I've been very lucky. But all luck runs out sometimes. Yeah, I don't think Susan said that. I mean, she did have a husband, but I don't think that went too well. Jack made those pictures on your wall. Was he an artist? He always liked all kinds of morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other things. People say it's depressing to listen to sad songs or watch sad films, but I never felt that way. And yet, you are scared of fog? Oh, that's different. I might be scared of fog, but I like spiders. They're beautiful. You must be out of your mind, Mitzi. No, honestly, there's a certain indescribable beauty in sadness. Just like there's beauty in the grey and ugly winter morning when you look past the obvious and notice what others can't see. You must love my apartment then. It's like ugly took a vacation here and never went home again. How did he take the news about your cancer? He thought I was joking at first. He laughed. Then he got really angry. I swore to him I was serious, but he still wouldn't believe me. We had a big fight that night. It was our first and only fight. But it was awful. He smashed some stuff. His guitar, of all things, was the worst. He loved that guitar. Why did he break it? He was absolutely furious. He walked out on me that night, and when he came back the next day, he was different begged me to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things, but I did the chemo for him. It didn't help. It just made me feel sick all the time. I felt trapped in this strange place where nothing that happened around me seemed real. Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack, and it was destroying him as well. He changed. He became obsessed with death. It seemed death was all he ever thought about, even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. How did he die? How did Jack die? It was so distant to the last few weeks before, before he died. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly. But it eventually found him. Or rather, he found him. 
There are those forums online, you know? About all sorts of stuff. Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions. Everything, really. Accidentally, Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. There's a guy there. Calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. But the Eye of Adam is an advocate of death. He dwells on human weakness. His job is to plant an idea. To give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it. Once and for good. Jack took the bait. Before he knew, he was completely brainwashed. One day, he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. It was the Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. We were both to die together in each other's arms. It was supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the Eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. All we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals, which combined together create gas called hydrogen sulfide that kills you within a couple of minutes. I told him he was fucking nuts, of course, but he just wouldn't give up. He reasoned with me, and he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance. But it was downright tacky and just wrong. Finally, he said he would get everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Five in the morning. Don't be late. Those were his last words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for hours, thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I love most in the whole world. A few times I even tried to persuade myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. I just couldn't. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. I woke up suddenly. I could see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. But right there in my bedroom, before I even left, I already knew it was. When I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. We used to go there in the past, drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes make love in Jack's car. There wasn't really anything special about that old parking lot. But to us there was. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After that day, I've never gone there again. Oh no, I have to actually play through the memory. That's gonna make it all the worse. There's no real point in asking about the signs or how strong the gas is, right? I mean, the gas was strong enough to kill him. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so much, he couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy, the Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. 
I'm not sure if I should believe that you only want to talk to him. But hey, that's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. Good to know, but I really just want to talk. I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is that he actually told me where he lives. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well, this kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. It's usually a form of extreme bullying and psychological cruelty. Those who are clever enough say don't feed the troll. Don't talk to them. It... It only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. And I have Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry. And I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. I wish he'd given you his door number though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. Oh, I guess I have to ask about the other things. There were signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So he posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door. And that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear mind. To prepare for it. To embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. Sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. It took me three months to track him down. Now I'm finally so close, I can almost smell that fucker. How strong is that gas? Extremely deadly, it turns out. It kills in minutes. It's that stinky stuff that smells like rotten eggs, you know? At high concentrations, it can knock down an elephant. What are those two chemical products? Well, I... I'm not sure if you want to know that. I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? No, Ms. Ashworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with... Recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Whatever it was that made you do it, you proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? Well, if you want to die, you'll find a way. Those who want to die will always find a way to do it. I'd really like to believe you, Miss Ashworth. But I will need you to promise me that you will never try this method. All right. I can promise you that I will never try this method. Or any other method, for that matter. Been there, done that. Didn't enjoy it much. Do you believe me now? Yeah, I think I do. Good. I'm glad you said that, you know. The recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Any good housewife can make it in a blast. Okay, so this is happening in the future, then. Okay. Well, I guess I'm fine now because I killed myself and came back to life. This place is just sick. Cat grabber. It's what they use for catching cats.
I thought these grabbers were banned some time ago. Hmm, could be useful. Strange noise is coming from the other side of the door. Eh. Let's go upstairs first. Oh, I should have saved. Okay, well, I'm not dead yet, so let's save. Hmm. Alright. Well, oh, wait, wait. I want to go back down. Alright, that's a big house, so before I explore it, I do want to know what's down here. This is probably where the guy is, right? Where he's cleaning his gun. Yeah. Oh, he's sleeping. Hmm. Bucket. It's an empty bucket. Perhaps I could mix chemicals inside of the bucket, maybe. And by the way, at this point, I, it, this game has been past the point where I saw anybody play it for, for a while now, so I have no idea at all what to do or what's going to happen here. I passed that time a while ago. Let's look at the man. He's fast asleep. Maybe he's drunk? Or on drugs? Regardless of that, I have no chance in a fight with this guy. He's fast and strong. And insane. But he's not the sharpest tool in the box. I will have to use my wits to get rid of him. Look at the gun locker. Collecting guns must be his little passion. If only I could reach one of them. But they're all right next to him. He'd wake up for sure. Ooh, cat grabber. This must be his private room. He sits here all day playing with his guns, while ugly Betty upstairs cooks his food. What a charming couple. Yeah. There's a cold draft coming through the broken window. Hmm. It must be important somehow, but I don't know how yet. Alright, can I use it? I'm sure I could find a better use. Hold on, I want to... I want to use it on his gun locker, maybe. Can I move in more? No. I shouldn't get too close. He might wake up. Yeah, I guess I can't use it on the guns. Okay. Back up for now. Alright, upstairs we go. I wonder where this ugly Betty is. What what is this place? It's like a a dusty old mansion with some of the strangest lighting I've ever seen. Everything's like turquoise. They don't make them like this anymore. No, they don't. All I see is the fog. I can never find my way home. Yeah, so this is definitely in the future because. Mitzi was saying that there's going to be a fog, and in fact, the fog was even coming in as Mitzi and Susan were talking to each other. So, this is in the future. <laughs> it's old, like everything in this house. There are cobwebs and dust all over it. Let's have a sit down. No time for that. Got to figure out how to get out of here. Oh, fine. Fog. Wow, it's dark. Nice lamp. Hmm, nothing happens. It needs a new light bulb. I should look around for one. I probably can't do anything in here, right? Ooh, wait a minute. Nothing, okay, yeah. Alright. Need a light bulb for this, for this room, or two. A very creaky house. I don't know if that's just stuff moving on its own or if that's his wife. Ooh, yeah, I'll take this one. It's too hot, I can't touch it. Oh. Um. Cat grabber? No. 
Okay, I need to like a cloth or something like that, or gloves. It's an old grandfather clock. Looks like it's still working. Yeah. Like if there's going to be a hidden passage inside. I'll leave it for someone else to discover. I'm in enough trouble already. Kitchen door. That's probably where she is, right? Main door. Oh. We're outside. Could I just leave? Loose brick. Part of the wall is badly damaged. He had probably driven his van into it once. Damaged as it is, I can't quite pull the bricks out with just my fingers. Is this a job for the cat grabber? Nope. One day, cat grabber, one day, your true purpose will be seen. Your destiny will be fulfilled. Also, I think I'm going to sneeze. I th I th <coughs> My destiny is fulfilled. I thought I would sneeze and I did. In fact, I think I might sneeze again. Maybe. Maybe not. I guess not. What the hell is that thing in the background? <laughs> it's like a gigantic wheel. Alright, what's off to the right? Trees and fog. Okay. It's just gonna keep being trees and fog, isn't it? Damn fog. I can't see where I'm going. Yeah, okay, I need to go back. <laughs> Small window. Oh, that's the window! Where the guy is. Glass on one side of the window is broken. So this is where the draft is coming through. Inside, I can see my kidnapper fast asleep in the chair. <laughs> can I grab a gun from down here? Gonna grab you? No. It wouldn't exactly fit through the window. Unless it's some sort of microscopic gun. Which would be pretty cool. Search the back of this place. I'm almost glad I was unconscious when he brought me here. Through the window, I can see there's animal... There's animal mess and blood everywhere. But the back door is locked. I wonder if I can find a spare key somewhere. It's locked, yeah. Cat grabber! Nope. Not yet, cat grabber. Your destiny. Soon. Soon. Driver's side window. Look in. The door is locked. But I can see you left a phone on the driver's seat. Maybe I could call for help if I got a hold of it, somehow. I don't suppose he left the window slightly open? No. Alright. I could bust it open with the brick if I could get the brick out, but at the moment I can't. So back in we go. Let's pay a visit to the kitchen. I'm gonna save because I have a feeling she's here. She looks kind of like a zombie. She moves like a zombie. Did you see the way she was walking? Bottles. Empty wine bottles. They like a drink. Oh crap, what'd that say? There's nothing like a bottle of red with your medium rare cat steak. Ugh. Cooker. This is where she cooks. Dirty pans still stink of an old cat stew. Ooh, I could use a knife. <laughs> They're all terribly blunt. Could hardly function as a weapon. Damn. Hmm. Well, they might not be usable for a weapon, but they could be a tool to pry out a brick. I'll take it. Slimy. I don't think she washes up very often. There's blood smear smeared all over it. Let's have a look. The door is stuck. But maybe that's better. It probably is. I'm not sure I want to know what's inside. Whoa. Where is she? I'm getting paranoid now, because I know where he is, and he's asleep, but I don't know where she is. Wait, one of the options is get under. Uh-oh. If the game's giving me an option to get under, I'm pretty sure that means I'm going to need to. <laughs> Filthy remains of many meals litter the dining table. There's a strong stench of rotten food. 
I don't need to hide at the moment. Which implies I'm going to need to hide. Okay. The crooked ass painting. A small painting of a street stall at night. Is there something behind it? No, there isn't. So, wait, why do I have a painting? What? I guess I'll find a use for a painting. Okay. This house is huge. Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. Certainly, Susan. Treat yourself. You deserve it. This reminds me of something. A certain combination that produces a gas that kills people the in minutes. The best thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Mm-hmm. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. Fine. I'll go on my own then. So that's what happened, isn't it? She went out to look for... to look at what was happening in the fog and found... the pest control guys stealing cats to eat them. Staircase. Alright, gotta go up there. Or over there. Uh... Okay, I can go to the other floors, but why? Alright, so we're on the second floor. I... Uh, just go to the top, I guess? The noise... The noise is, I should say is, this is if. The noise is coming from outside, I should get down there and investigate, yeah. Okay. I'm guessing this is gonna be when I need to scout out... ...where that... ...douchebag guy is living. But, I don't need to do that yet, let's go to the ground floor. I'm looking at that poster right in front of me. Bob, a man with a van. What more you need than that? A man with a van. Call me. It's a communal mailbox. It holds all tenants' mail in separately locked compartments. No mail for Susan Ashworth. Surprise, surprise. All the other compartments are locked. Oh, I'm moving so slow. <gasps> Why am I moving so slow? Is this a, I think it's supposed to be like this, but I'm kind of worried it's a technical problem. According to my recording software, it's going at 5 FPS. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, that's about 5 FPS. I guess it's like we're recreating the scene in slow motion. Which is kind of cool, actually. What's over here? Oh, it's more fog. What was that noise? I don't think I can go to the right anymore. Do I have to go to the left? Wait, seriously? I can't go to the right anymore? Now I have to- Now I have to walk in slow motion all the way to the left. Oh no... <laughs> this slow motion scene that could have been super cool is now drawn out too long. Damn. I, I seriously hope it is meant to be like this and it's not a- bug. Hmm. 
Do 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 do. I'm looking for some cats. They're screaming in the fog. I think I'm gonna get murdered, but I don't really care, and these words don't rhyme. Bloody fog. Can't see a thing. Someone could be getting murdered, two feet away, and not a soul would notice. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Awkward sight. Wicked. Still, oh, okay. It could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Yeah, are you, you going to have 10 second pauses between all sentences? <clears throat> I always look on the right side, they say. And I always do. Right, I'm just going to go make a sandwich before your next sentence starts. So if you don't mind, I'll be right back. Just just wait. Everything's proceeding as normal. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? Yeah, why is it running at 5 FPS? It, this is so awkward now that I'm thinking it might be an issue not intended. It's none of your business. Don't be such a scaredy cat, sweetheart. You're Susan, aren't you? A kind man had described to me what you look like. And what, what can I say? He was spot on. What do you want? I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. <coughs> just have a sip of my tea here while I'm waiting for him. A crazy mm. cat lady called Susan, I was told. And? And? Now, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart, but I'm taking you for a ride. You might be surprised, but I'm actually okay with that. Just get, let's get the show on the road, okay? Okay, there we go. Back to glorious 30 FPS. Ah. I don't, I do not know what was up with that. It, I, I think that might have been intentional to make it slow motion, but it ended up working out really awkwardly. Hmm. Anyway, I'll take some cloth. I know exactly what I can use that for, to get the bulbs. There must be at least 20 bottles of bleach in the box. I guess they have a lot of things they need to bleach. But we certainly know, the, as we've seen around this place, the bleach isn't used for cleaning. What's in here? Oh, God. The fuck? Where am I? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> Once again, I'm in. The, I'm stuck in the door frame. I don't know what's going on in these bathtubs. What the hell? It's like slime. Anyway. Well, I'm actually going to end this episode here. As kind of awkward of a place to end it as it is. I don't know. I guess it's not a bad place to end it. But anyway, I've got to go. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.